Okay guys, how you doing? This is uh, the Cobb 8 and I'm going to show you this is kind of a quick tutorial on how to change your theme in XP to you know get rid of this little Lego look as one of my friends called it. It's you know the one we're going to install today is going to be a little darker and smoother I think. Uh, so here we go. Well your first step obviously is to open your favorite browser. Mine is Safari right now. And you go to this site here. I'll put the link in the description. Which, okay, never mind. Um, but yeah, I'll put the link in the description. So once you go here, you'll come to this site. And if you want to, you can click on a picture. Which, uh, my internet connection is a little slow because I'm downloading something at the moment. Yeah, okay, here. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, it's a little darker, and I like it because it don't have the little green start button, it's blue. And I'm going to show you how to install it easily. Okay, we go back. Oh, wait a minute, never mind, scratch that. Okay, then. Alright, so once you're here, basically just click download. I already have it, so... I'm not going to go ahead and do it. Once you do it, uh, basically you save it to wherever the hell you want. And I've already done that, so I'll minimize. And I put mine here. Ignore all the other stuff. But you'll get a file like this. You know, Windows embedded style crystal blah blah blah. And if you have WinRAR or 7-Zip or even WinZip, I think, basically all you do is... Uh, you right click it and you click extract files you go to my computer uh, what is it uh, your hard drive mine's SATA 160 gigabyte you go to Windows click the little plus sign or double click you go to I think it is resources you click on the themes folder you don't have to click the plus sign you just click OK I already have it so uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and do it but it'll ask you to Actually, it's not going to ask you anything. It's going to extract the files there. If you open it up, you know, there's a few files there. It'll extract it to that part. And you close this out or box it out. And you basically, if you want to install it, you right-click, go to Properties. And, you know, Theme tab here, you go to, click the where it says Theme, Windows XP, down arrow. And click on Embedded. And as you can see, it shows a little preview. And click Apply. And there you go. You know, simple theme. It's made by Microsoft, so you know it's safe, I guess. And to me, it looks much cleaner than the other one. I like it because, you know, the ugly blue start button is gone. Stuck out like a sore thumb. Nothing else is green except the start button. And it looks like the font has been cleared up, too. It's a different font, so to me, it's easy to read. But I don't know. I like this theme better. And, well, basically, there you go. This is one of my first tutorials, so if you like it, subscribe, whatever. I'm, I basically make tutorials on anything. And, speaking of that, I'll, if you want to see later, most of you should know what this is. This is a rocket dock. I'll do a short tutorial on it. It's kind of ugly right now for me because I just installed it about a day ago, and I am just haven't made time customizing it. But, yeah, once, once I get time, I'll maybe do a tutorial on that. And another tutorial I'll probably have coming up is uh, the Brico packs. I'm thinking about stalling in one because you know to see how it looks. I've never tried the Brico pack and maybe I'll do a tutorial on that later. Alright, thanks for watching. This is the Cobb 8. Peace man.